Welcome to Basco's Infinity Bypass Sliding Door Installation Tutorial. This video covers the installation for the 4400 tub door as well as the 4500 shower enclosure as they follow the same process. Supplemental instructions are available on our website at bascoshowerdoor.com. This installation is suited for a do-it-yourselfer with moderate handyman skills, but requires two people to complete due to the weight of the glass and fragile nature of the product. Before you start, unpack and inspect your unit carefully for missing pieces and freight damage. Continue by laying out and identifying all parts using your instruction sheet as a reference. And make sure to check your carton to ensure no small hardware parts have fallen to the bottom of the box. Should any of the parts be missing or damaged, please contact your Basco dealer for replacements. Let's take a look at the tools you need to install this enclosure. You will require a tape measure, a level, a number 2 Phillips screwdriver, a 3 16 wrench, various drill bits, a hacksaw, a pencil, and caulking. We recommend clear silicone caulking for best results. Optional tools to use include a miter box for cutting parts to length, files, a center punch, masking tape, and a small rubber mallet. Please remember to be cautious when handling the tempered glass panels. Tempered glass is most sensitive in the corners of the glass or if unequal pressure is applied. Please also read the written instructions in its entirety before installing the enclosure, as drill bit sizes and instructions can slightly vary depending on your wall material and backing. Additionally, the instruction manual also offers a more technical view of all parts. Lastly, please remember that it is okay to ask for help. If you are unsure how to install your enclosure, please contact us for assistance. You can reach our technical specialists at 1-800-45-BASCO. Now, let's start with the installation of your new Infinity Bypass enclosure. The first step is to measure the wall-to-wall -wall opening at the center of the tub rim and cut the tub track 1 16th short of this dimension. An inexpensive miter box available at your local hardware store can help you get clean square cuts. Next, position the tub track in the center of the tub rim and lightly mark along both sides of the tub track with a pencil. Ensure that the tall leg of the tub track faces the exterior of your shower. It may be necessary to file a radius on the ends of the tub track and wall jams to match the corners of the tub or shower base. Continue the installation by pressing the first wall jam into position over the tub track and use a level to plumb. Mark the pre-drilled hole locations on the wall and remove the wall jam. You can use masking tape to hold parts in place temporarily to ensure correct placement. Repeat the same actions on the other side of the second wall jam. Once all holes are marked, remove all parts. Step 4. Drill holes in the marked spots. Please remember that drill bit sizes will vary depending on wall material and backing. Only screw the wall jams into place and never drill or screw the tub track into the curb as it could lead to water leakage. Once complete, clean all installation surfaces to remove the dust from drilling. If you wipe the walls and curb with a wet cloth, ensure you let the surfaces dry fully before continuing with the installation. Continue by inserting anchors into the drill holes as needed, depending on your wall materials and backing. Next, run caulk on the inside of the pencil marks of the tub track that you left earlier on the curb. This step is followed by placing the tub track in the exact position marked in step number 3. Seat the track firmly in the caulking. Step 9, place one wall jam and attach it to the wall with a nylon spacer and a number 8 by 2 inch truss head screw. We recommend you start with the top screw and check that the jam is plumb before tightening screws fully. Next, you will need to slide the anti-jump inserts to the center of the header. 
Continue by measuring the wall opening at the top of the wall jam and cut the header 1 16th short of this dimension. Once complete, you can slide the safety T-lock of the unmounted wall jam into the header and engage the end onto the mounted wall jam by holding the header at an angle. Pivot the header into place and then slide the loose wall jam to the wall and press into position. Our safety T-lock wall jams permanently lock wall jams to ensure they cannot accidentally be dislodged after a proper installation. Continue by attaching the second wall jam as previously done in step number 9. Slide the anti-jump panels into position inside the header. You will need to place one insert at the left wall jam, one at the right wall jam and one in the center of the opening. Now, it's time to install the glass panels. If the clamps and rollers have not arrived pre-attached to the glass panels, install the hanger brackets on each side of the top of the glass panels and attach the rollers. On the outside panel, the roller is installed to the outside. On the inside panel, the roller is installed facing the inside. Center the roller and screw in the slot length and temporarily tighten the screw in this position. The roller will be moved later when adjusting the panel. If you have textured glass ensure that the texture is facing the outside of the shower. If you have panels that were factory treated with our Aquaglide XP protective coating, please ensure the coated side is facing the inside of the enclosure. Lift the first panel into position with the rollers engaging the grove in the header. Note that the panels will need to be close to the center of the opening in order to be installed. Repeat this step with the second panel. Complete the panel installation by attaching the towel bars. Use the provided clear plastic discs, glass hole sleeves and back plates as detailed in the instruction manual. The outer panel towel bar faces out, while the inner panel towel bar faces in. Step 16, locate the nylon bottom guide in the middle of the tub track with the glass panels in the position shown. Drill two holes into the V-groove through the mounting holes in the guide. Install the bottom guide with two number 6 by 3 8 inch pan head screws through the drilled holes. Next, you will slide the stainless steel bumper inserts into the four soft vinyl jam bumpers. Align the slots in the bumpers with the glass panels and snap the bumpers downward over the top and bottom wall jam screws with the spacers. To complete this installation, neatly caulk the inside seam of each end of the tub track where it meets the wall jams. Proceed to caulk the interior and exterior edges of the wall jams and tub track as shown. Please remember that it is important to allow the caulk 24 to 48 hours to cure before using your new enclosure. Congratulations, you have now successfully completed the installation of your new Infinity Bypass sliding enclosure. Don't forget to register your shower door warranty at bascoshowerdoor.com. For additional information, please visit our website or call us at 1-800-45-BASCO.